Einstein Analytics dashboards are made up of widgets, which are the building blocks of a dashboard. Some widgets are based on data, like those that show, aggregate, or filter data. Other widgets have nothing to do with data, like image or text widgets. Widgets based on data require a step. A step determines the results shown in a widget, while the widget determines how to display those results. You can use static steps or query steps to populate a widget. For example, you can define a static set of data to populate a toggle widget. In this case, we're building a toggle that could be used to switch between opportunity statuses, like the one that's already set up here. Instead of querying a data set, click Create a Static Step with Custom Values to manually add your own static data. You'll need to know the label for the values in order for them to work. So that's one. We can fast forward the other two. With the help of bindings, you can configure selections in this toggle widget to filter the dashboard to show open, won, or lost opportunities based on what you select in the toggle. The second type of step is a query step, which populates a widget based on the results from a query. For example, the chart widget shows the total opportunities, grouped by each rep, and also grouped by opportunity type. Let's check out the step query used to populate the results in the chart. The SACL editor shows the underlying SACL query. To show you how easy it is to create a query step, let's create a chart widget. Drag the chart widget onto the dashboard canvas. Notice the red box. This box shows the default size of the chart widget. It's red to indicate that you can't place it here. Except for container widgets, widgets can't overlap. While dragging a widget, tap Shift to enable Reflow. Reflow moves existing widgets down to make room. To populate this empty chart widget with data, let's add a step. To create a step, query or static, click the Create Step button in the Step panel, which appears when you click an empty space in the dashboard canvas. But let's try a simpler way. Click the Chart button to start the widget wizard. The wizard opens the Explorer using your most recently used dataset. To use a different dataset, you could click Back. Let's change the chart type to a column chart. Now set the properties to specify the categories used to determine the bars. and measure used to determine the bar length. Also, let's add a filter to include only opportunities closed in 2016. Behind the scenes, you're adding a measure, grouping, and filter to the SACL query. Add a descriptive step label to help you quickly distinguish this step from others. Click Done to create your step. The chart shows the results of the step query. Nice work. See how easy that was? You can create dashboards quickly and easily, one widget at a time. To learn more, check out these resources. Or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.